What's up you guys, here with another quick upper body workout video. Hopefully you guys take something from this and maybe can implement some exercises into your own workout routine. But let's go ahead and get started. So this first exercise superset is just pull-ups and dips. So I recently watched a video from Jeremy Ethier, um, however you pronounce his last name, um, on how to go from zero to 10 pull-ups without stopping. So doing 10 pull-ups without, you know, basically your form going to shit, right? And so one of the things he learned um, is to do pull-ups in like sets of three or four, or well short of failure um, to get to 30 pull-ups. So 30 pull-ups in however many sets you can. The only caveat is that you cannot do, um, you, like don't go to failure, right? So don't try to get 10 pull-ups in the first set and then eight pull-ups in the next set and then however many sets it takes to get to 30. Instead, do sets of three, for example. That's what I'm doing here. I'm doing three uh, sets of three pull-ups every 30 seconds to get those 30 reps. So that's just 10 sets of uh, three pull-ups. And the reason for this is because you want to be able to do these pull-ups effectively. Every pull-up is technically a quote-unquote perfect rep. It is You're supposed to be fresh every single rep, and this is supposed to help with your body. This is my first time doing this type of thing. It wasn't necessarily hard. I just need to work on my form, and I also um, did dips as well because um, I needed to do some sort of chest workout, and I was kind of in a in a hurry, so I, I decided to throw dips in there. The next exercise I did here was the pause bench press. Now, I like to do the pause bench press. I feel like I'm really strong in this area, and um, it helps with the bottom portion of the bench press. So if you get stuck on your personal bench press exercises, and you get stuck at the bottom, like right there where the pause, where you're supposed to pause, and you can never get up from that, then try the pause bench press with a lower weight. It might help you, um, and vice versa, if you get stuck on like the second half, like right here, right after that sec, um, right after that section, then you wanna try like something like the floor press that could help you out with your bench press. Um, after this, uh, I did the cable row with these cool little handles. Um, I found these on Amazon. They actually help a lot. If the cable attachment itself doesn't let you go farther, then definitely try out this cable attachment. I'll link it in the description or put it on the screen. Um, it's very helpful, gets you better range of motion, and I really like that a lot. Cable rows, very, very um, self-explanatory. It's a rowing movement <laughs> with a cable. Um, the next thing I did was uh, seated dumbbell curls with 35 pounds. Got to do the guns. It's almost summertime. So, you know, my guns have always been, uh, you know, shitty. <laughs> and... We need to work on that this summer. That's one of my goals. That's why I'm also doing pull-ups as well. I want to get stronger at pull-ups, but I also want to get bigger biceps. And um, I'm switching to the chin-up variation, which you'll see in a, in a future video, instead of the overhand grip. So hopefully that'll uh, attribute to my bicep growth. But hopefully, hopefully you guys like this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.